First, state your name, age, and the present condition of your health. And whether, in your condition, you could travel to attend in person to Beaver, the court now sitting there. I'm Brigham Young. I'm in my 75th year. It would be a great risk to both my health and life for me to travel to Beaver at this time, as I am and have been for some time an invalid. Second, what office, either ecclesiastical, civil, or military, did you hold in the year 1857? I was governor of the territory, ex officio superintendent to Indian affairs, and president of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints in the year 1857. remember the feelings of love that flowed through everyone on that wagon train. It felt special. Two different worlds met on this spot. One of love, the other of hate. Well, there's nothing here that looks menacing. They all seem to be good Christian men and women. Thank you, Bishop. Does this mean you'll let us stay here and rest a while? First, let me ask where you people are from. Well, most of us are from Arkansas. Some of us are from Missouri. Missouri. Our people need rest, Bishop. We'll pay double with American gold eagles. No, of course not. One should not pay for what God provides. Thank you. My men will direct you to a place not very far from here where you can camp for no more than two weeks. You'll be safe from the hostile Indians there. Thank you. Thank you very much, Bishop. Good day. Let us give thanks to the Lord. We thank you for the food we eat, the shelter that keeps us dry, the clothes that keep us warm. Thank you for this beautiful place for us to rest, and for the animals to feed and drink. We thank you for delivering the Gentiles into our hands. Bless the bishop and his family for allowing us to stay. Surely these people are cursed beyond hope of redemption. And thank you for showing the light of Christian charity to those who doubted our motives for staying in this glorious place. Cursed the Gentile dogs who allow abominations, like that woman in pants who carries a gun. Curse all the people from Missouri who drove us from our land. In Jesus' name. May these children of Satan go to hell. Amen. seeking to expose the vicious principles of Joseph Smith and those who practice the same abominations and whoredoms. Joseph Smith has ordered us to destroy everything. He's the voice of God. Burn the papers. Burn the papers. Burn everything. We will trample down our enemies and make it one gore of blood from the Rocky Mountains to the Atlantic Ocean. I will be to this generation a second Muhammad, whose motto in treating for peace was the Al-Quran or the sword. So shall it eventually be with us, Joseph Smith or the sword. Burn. Let their lies burn. Why does Joseph Smith need protection? Supposed to be a general or a king. <laughs> I heard you got 40 wives. King Smith. <laughs> I told you that Joseph Smith meant trouble. Probably those Missourians, they hate him. There must be a hundred people down there. We gotta get back downstairs. You stay put. We will never leave you or forsake you. Joseph 
Joseph Smith himself ordered a company of day knights to put right physically that which is not right, and to cleanse the church of very great evils. I have no wife whom I love so well that I would not put a javelin through her heart for lying with my brother, and I would do so with clean hands. There are sins that men commit for which they cannot attain forgiveness in this world or in that which is to come. And if their eyes were open to their true condition, they would be perfectly willing to have their blood spilt upon the ground to atone for that sin. If there is a person here that has committed a sin that he knows will deprive him of that exaltation which he desires, and he cannot attain to it without the shedding of his blood to atone for that sin and be saved and exhorted with the gods, they would say, shed my blood that I may be saved and exalted with the gods. President Buchanan has sent thousands of troops which are on their way here to kill all the Indians and all the Mormons. It's outrageous. outrageous. President Buchanan means to remove me as governor and give the kingdom to the Americans. I will try to take care of number one. And if it is wicked for me to try to preserve myself, I shall persist in it. For I am intending to take care of myself. Hell cannot remove me. I'm still your governor. I will still rule this people until God himself permits another to take my place. Hallelujah. I'm declaring martial law. We will not be run out. This time we will stand and fight. I am the voice of God. And anyone who doesn't like it will be hewn down. God has revealed to me that I have the right and the power to call down curses on anyone who tries to invade our lands. Therefore, I curse the Gentiles. A wagon train yeah. from Missourian, Arkansas has camped at the Mountain Meadows. They have 500 head of prize beef, a choice herd of Kentucky racehorses, Kentucky muzzle loaders, large stockpile of ammunition, and a well-guarded wagon with a trunk that is said to be full of gold. I hear some of them are Missouri Wildcats who brag about killing Joseph Smith and carry the very gun that killed him. They say that they will join the army and kill Brigham Young, all the apostles, and every damned Mormon man, woman, and child. They have no pass to go through our country. No man has right to go through our lands without a pass. They could be killed as common enemies. The Paiutes and the Brethren must stick together, for the Maricats plan to kill us all. We've led the Maricats to the mountain meadows, perfect place for an ambush and a siege. A crown of celestial glory and eternal joy is the reward of those who are faithful and willingly obey. We are gathered here to build up the kingdom of God. It exalts God that he has planted this people in a place that's not desired by the wicked. Until this moment, I have protected emigrants who passed through this territory. But now, now I will loose the Indians upon them. And if any miserable scoundrel comes here to our Zion, cut his throat. We take a solemn oath to never discuss this, even among ourselves, and promise to keep the whole matter secret from every human being. Amen. Amen. Megan, great sire. Definitely improve the quality of our stock. Yes. What's happening with the immigrants? Why do they plan to move out? I think they plan to stay the two weeks that you gave them. Have they said anything about the Prophet's murder? I don't think they even know who Joseph Smith was. Have you heard them talk about joining Buchanan's army, running us out of here? All they want to do is go to California. <laughs> 